The Devil's Double stars Dominic Cooper as both Uday Hussein and Latif Yahya, along with Ludivine Sagné, who plays Sarab, the love interest. You can find The Devil's Double on Amazon, the book, paperback, but it'll run you anywhere from $600 to $2,000 which is crazy, but just goes to show how much people want to read this man's story. This is one of those movies that you watch and makes you want to read the book. Now, Lee Tomohori, the director of this film, said to watch this as if it were a gangster movie, and I can see that. I can see why he would say something like that. I would not recommend this movie to people who get queasy when they see lots of violence, lots of blood, and lots of raping and pillaging type stuff. If that makes you uncomfortable, this is not your movie at all. I can see why people would think that you should watch this movie with the mindset that it's a gangster type movie because of all the violence in it, but you can't watch this movie and not lose sight of the fact that it's loosely based on a real person. And that's what makes this movie so engaging. major thing they took liberties with was the ending, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. Or maybe I will, I don't know. Dominic Cooper did a great job as Uday Hussein. Just gonna say that straight out. Not even gonna hold back. But, from what I understood, all the scenes with Uday were filmed first, and then all the scenes with Latif were put in afterwards, and it totally shows. When he plays Uday, it seems like he is so enthralled in playing this character, you just sit there and you absolutely believe everything that's coming out of this guy's mouth. Like, he is this man. But then when he plays Latif, he's just kind of there. He's just kind of dull. It kind of sucks because you can't really relate to Latif. Latif seems like this very, like, straight-laced guy, but with no character, kind of. I mean, you know he's a good guy. But it doesn't really go into why he's a good guy. Latif's character development was kind of off. As the movie progresses, Uday's antics just get more and more fantastic. You, you think, no, it can't get worse. And no, it can't get worse. And oh my god, it just got worse. And oh my god, it got so much more worse. You're just so hypnotized by this man. And I imagine that's probably how he was in real life. Just this very overbearing character that, that you can't just take your eyes off of. You just keep watching. You just stay there and take it type of thing. I enjoyed this movie. I, I enjoyed it so much that I needed to go to the bathroom and pee like halfway into it and I didn't go. I held it in because I just had to keep watching. Now though I enjoyed it and I sat there and I watched it and did no good to my bladder. There were some parts, well mainly just one thing, that I didn't really care for, and that's his love interest, Sarab. I don't understand why there needs to be a love interest in all these movies. There are plenty of movies that would be just fine without getting a love interest thrown in there. And I thought that this movie could have done the same. From the beginning, you're like, no, don't do it, Latif, no, don't fall in love with her, Latif, no, she's his, Latif, and then what does he do? He does it anyways, and then, of course, everything that he thinks gonna happen, happens. It was one of those predictable things. One of those predictable love stories. Would I watch this movie again? Yes, I would. I would definitely watch this movie again. But I'll tell you what I would really like to do is read the book. Well, that's probably going to be the next book on my list.